Okay. One of the things that we uh, see here as part of the Think Smart Factory is basically that you see self-driving uh, kind of vehicles or robots where they are, have different purposes. Um, I don't know what the purpose of this one is, but uh, you have several trays where it's uh, transporting uh, transparent boxes where you can actually uh, move things from a location to another location. In this example, uh, the entire floor has been made ready, so now I guess it drives from uh, actually reading the markers in the floor. What uh, Horizon is also showcasing, we will show you in a second, is uh, it's not a product yet, but uh, if there's an interest, they said that they might turn it into a product, basically conveyor that uh, puts the books into these transparent boxes. They are made for this event, but basically uh, you have the conveyor and when the finished product comes out of the conveyor, it actually drops it directly in uh, the box. And then you can easily slide the box to this uh, trolley here. And that trolley basically allows uh, the operators to easily move uh, this around rather than having on pallets or lifting it off uh, with manual work. And actually one of the robots that we have seen here at the show actually is able to take that and take it from this end to the other end where we have all the print samples from the show uh, displayed. That's a pretty neat solution. And um, as one of the guys from Horizon said to me yesterday, they have made the bottoms transparent. So when the tiles are put in, you can actually see the tiles. So when you have them stacked like this, you will, have, you will be able to see the tiles of the, of the product that you are putting in a box, which is pretty nice. See, our little robot has been busy, so it's picked up a trolley. And now the trolley is going to be delivered to the, some of the print samples have been delivered to, uh, there's like a, a little like station at the end that showcases all the print samples produced. It's actually quite cool, isn't it? Maybe not the world's best driver, but as long as it's, remember it to have a safety belt on, it's not an issue. Our little vacuum number seven has arrived. So the operator just takes the vacuum off and park it wherever he needs it to be parked. And now he puts on the, the other back in here with the empty trays. Put on the control unit on the vacuum. And as you can see, the little spider is now ready to actually accept the goods. One click and then it's uh, mounted to the robot and second push apparently gives it the go so now it's uh, delivering the goods to wherever it's needed some of the printing companies that we have been in for the past years uh, has been quite large so to have this kind of uh, opportunities as part of the automated workflow seems to be a quite good idea